what's up YouTube? Uh, Mike here again. I had some on my mind real quick. Um, and somebody just asked me a quick question on Instagram um, pertaining to, um, he watches my YouTube, so he just asked me a question through Instagram. That's probably the best way. Um, but anyway, uh, his question was, how far do you go and how much gas do you use? And I'm pretty sure I made a video about this. I don't know. I don't really keep track of all this. I just hit record and just talk. But anyway, um, just to, I guess, maybe if I did talk about it, I guess this would be more in detail. Um, but, um, like, for instance, because I guess people are acting, because when I make these videos, I'm doing it between jobs, usually. And from where I live, I, I probably said this, like I said, um, maybe 40 mile radius. Yeah, about 40 miles. I'm going north, south. I'm already east of, of where I'm at. I'm close by the water anyway, so, you know, not just west, I would say. But I don't go 40 miles west. Uh, I gotta take this. Let me pause it real quick. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, uh, so pretty much where I left off was... Um, when I first leave my house, sometimes it's half an hour to my first job. That's how it is sometimes. Um, sometimes I go from my house half hour down, then I might go 45 minutes north, you know, past my house. So it's just, you know, I'm kind of like midway, and I go north and I go south. So it's just some days, that's why you gotta um, plan out your day, plot your schedule properly, and, um, make sure you don't zip, you know have your route zip zapping you know if you, you know you're going to this area go to this area you know you go next go to the next area and so forth and so forth um for me gas um like i said in this van has been only been costing me twenty dollars a day um sometimes depending on where my route is if i'm going or i have one general area they sometimes it can roll over to the next day and then I'll fill up maybe midday or the end of the day for the next day. Sometimes it works a lot like that, but usually $20 a day. That's it. So, you know, and I work Saturdays too. So you factor into that, it's $120 a week, you know, uh, $480 a month. So yeah, that's gas. And I put every, I keep gas separate. So I already know how much when it's, when I'm fast, I mean, I'm sorry, when I'm busy and it's just every day, I'm usually doing $600 a month in gas, easily. So, um, yeah, depending on how far you go, because I go to nice areas and far north, which is Jupiter, Florida. Um, I don't know if you go, guys know about Jupiter, but Jupiter is a lot of rich people. And then when you go to Boca, so, you know, they're far, they're, if you know Palm Beach County, Jupiter is the northest most point, and then you got Boca, which is the most southern point of the county. I don't go too far west um, out of Palm Beach County. I only go to Wellington, Loxahatchee areas, north and then south, Boca. You know, I, I will go to uh, North Broward sometimes, like Coral Springs, Deerfield, um, sometimes Pompano. It all depends, but I, I tend to generally uh, keep it close to where I am. Um, when I was, uh, sorry about that. That's my Bluetooth. When I was working for a company, man, I used to go our far, our, the farthest north point we used to go, the far, the farthest north point we used to go was Jupiter. Uh, we used to go all the way down to Davie, uh, Weston, Southwest Ranches, Plantation. I mean, we used to go all down there when I was working with a different company. I'm so glad I don't go down there anymore. It's just, it's more, uh more people so in city more so is this more more cars more traffic um palm beach county is not so bad um for traffic especially during the midday time when you know a morning commute afternoon commute but midday it's all good so um that's kind of how i do my um you know gas and my travel uh it doesn't benefit me to go further than where i go for the jobs, I mean, they always try to send me. Oh yeah, we'll give you extra get you know gas, and I've probably did that once or twice. I'm good on that. I'd rather stay in my area, 
and do what I have to do. I mean, for me to do that, I have to be shooting real bad, but you know, luckily it's, it's not, that's not the issue. So um, yeah, just wanted to make it real quick. So plot out your schedule. I probably, like I said, I probably made a video on this, but somebody just asked a question. So I'm just, uh, you know, bringing it up again. So you wanna just figure out where you wanna work, what areas you wanna work in. So you can't just say, okay, I'm gonna just start in my city. You know, some places are different. Like when you coming from up north, um, city limits and it was, it's all different. I learned, I really learned about it as being older and living down here. Um, like I said, I finished my last year of high school down here. So I kind of been down here a long time. I go, used to go back and forth when I was younger, but when you have a child and you're working and trying to make it, you don't really have time to do as much as, as you used to. So, yeah, um, I had to make sure, and that's what, that's essentially what made me get this van, is because um, my old, my 2002 Dodge Ram, it's a good van. It's, it's, it's a very good van. I bought it with 94,000 miles on it, and right now it's at 113,000 miles. So, I didn't, um, I didn't put that much on it. I didn't have it. I got it beginning of, well, I want to say beginning. When did I get that van? 2018. Uh, March. March 2018 is when I got that van. So, but when I got that van, I didn't start driving it till uh, on the road, like doing service calls, maybe till August, because I still had my Astro. And I had a, I had a connection with my Astro because a lot of service vans that I drove in were Chevy Astros or GMC Safaris. They're the same. Um, but at the end of the day, I had a, when I was a service guy, me starting my own business and having a vehicle back then were the Astros, but you know, they stopped making them. So that's that. And I wouldn't buy one now that's has a lot of miles on it. It'd be rare to find one. Um, but so me buying my first van for my business was a 1989 Chevy Astro. I love that thing, man. And since older vehicles are a little, you know, less electronics, when I had to change the water pump, had to change the brakes, rotors, uh, a lot of things I had to do to it, but I got that thing going and it made me some money, man. It made me, when I calculated all the, the money it made me, I'm like, this thing was well worth its life. I'll tell you that much. And um, I was able to buy the Dodge um, van, bef you know, before, luckily. And that's why I say you gotta be smart about it. If, if you have your own personal vehicle and you're okay with using that at a, as a backup, um, then that's fine. I'll give you a little personal about me. When I was working for a company, um, I used to be, I was able to take my van home. So me and my wife, we just shared a vehicle. You know, she would go to work, use that, and I would just use my work van to come home. You know, I didn't have to buy another vehicle. Um, and also the area uh, we were living in uh, was a little worse. De I definitely live in a, a, a nicer area now. Um, I think those are the goals when you want to start your own business. You do those things because um, the, the, your current situation drives you to do those things. Let's just say that. So, and I wanted to to have it be in an area where I felt like it was safe for my daughter and all that stuff like that. So, you guys get the picture. So, when I got that first van, it was just like everything to me. Like, all right, this is my own. And so I would still I was still working for the other company. So it would be her car. Because I, when I used to do her, um, when I started, I did service calls out of her vehicle. Because um, she used to get off work a lot earlier than I. So when I got home, um, I would park, you know, the other company's van, get in the vehicle, had my magnets on the car, and just go work. And then when I got my van, um, I was still driving the car maybe a couple weeks before I got everything situated. New tires, you know, everything I mentioned before. And it was just like, okay, as soon as I got my van on the road, it was just golden I felt like I felt you know you feel kind of complete sometimes even though I was fine making money out of the car but just having that look you know sometimes you just want to have that look like yeah I have a van this is mine so eventually um, I like I said I work for a company I know how it goes with vehicles and vans and vans breaking down having to drive the backup you know so I, I told myself once I get a certain amount of savings I'm buying another van and this is before I moved out of the, the hood let's just say that I moved out of I'm like you know what I gotta be prepared 
you know so I bought that Dodge Ram van and that thing I'm like I, I felt like I got a deal actually I got it for like 1900 and it was for a flower company um, had it so it was just and when I got it it already had a little mist to it so I, it was you know something already wrong I needed to get that fixed but nothing major nothing engine was good just whatever so what happened um, one day I was uh, driving in my Astro and I heard a noise and you can just hear I'm like oh man it already had like 315,000 miles on it when I when I got it, it had like 305 and then I think when it was over and said it was like 316 or something like that but anyway uh, I just heard something I'm like oh man it's the I knew something was nice the transmission I knew I was not gonna put any money to fix that because it was just you know at first the AC didn't work thinking about driving in Florida no AC I've done it before in another work vehicle and that's why I said sometimes you just gotta I didn't care I had my own van you know so I didn't have I didn't have AC but the thing about not having AC you have to make sure when you're going from job to job coming out of people's house you don't want to be sweating a whole ton because going to people's house sweaty is not the best look but anyway so I uh, got that van uh, the transmission just was was done but luckily when I was doing a job and the transmission blew the only thing that it, it couldn't go in reverse so it was driving I think it was skipping second gear but it, I made it home let's just say I made it home and I'm like this is done I gotta drive my other van now so that's that's what it was what made me get this van now was I was um, driving on a 95 and for a while now I was hearing something you know but I couldn't see what it was and it wasn't really affecting the driving so my um, the Dodge Ram if you know that has a uh, the fan is built onto the pulley so you know the, the fan turns but it's a clutch fan motor so what happened was um, fan pulley broke one day I'm on a 95 broke hit the radiator chipped the radiator that's that so luckily um, I can do those repairs got a new clutch fan got a new radiator and at that point I'm like you know what um, I want to get a newer van even though the van is good it's back on the road the next day because I only had one van at that point so had to get the van back on the next day and it was just like you know that's what it was but uh yeah I made this video longer than I wanted so that's like I said that's what made me get this van also the fact that gas um, is a lot less like in my Dodge Ram van I was doing 25 to 30 dollars a day every day you no know, it wasn't any skipping days it wasn't now it's a v6 so this is a four cylinder I'm doing 20 dollars a day you know yeah, I might be paying a car payment, but eh, it's in my business name. It'll build my business credit up, and as long as I keep this vehicle for a long period of time and service it properly, um, it's a 2015, so it'll be fine. My Dodge Ram was 2002. Look how old it was, and it's still kicking. I'll still drive it on the weekends, too, just to keep it going, and eventually that'll be a, you know, when I hire somebody one day, who knows how, when will that be? I'll start them off in that van, and it already be stocked up with everything they need for first call completion so that's what I want to have and uh, that's what it's gonna be so anyway um, I'll uh, hit you guys with the next one I know I'm coming out with videos faster than I want to but hey when stuff's on my mind I just say and talk and hopefully you got it helps hopefully you know just entertainment at the end of the day so all right guys you take care